Okay, welcome back. As promised, I mentioned in the last video that uh, we would look at a question that deals with molecular formulas and hydrates. Uh, it's, it's a little bit simpler than it looks, and uh, the best strategy is to go through the problem. This question is number 59 on page 310 of your textbook. And so let's take a look at it. <clears throat> From our discussion before, we know <clears throat> that hydrates contain water as part of their chemical formula. And we did a lab on this where we dehydrated cupric sulfate, if you remember. Here's an example where we have magnesium sulfate and they're not telling you what the value of X is. So it could be a monohydrate where X would be one, it could be a dihydrate, or it could be a pentahydrate or, or a decahydrate for all we know. But they are giving us some key information. When we look at magnesium sulfate on its own, by molar mass, and I skip this step because I trust you can all add 24.3 plus 32.1 plus four times 16, which is 64, gives us uh, 120.4 grams per mole. So that's what the mag sulfate or the magnesium sulfate would, would weigh on a molar basis without the waters. In this question, <clears throat> they're actually giving you some data that's very helpful. Hydrate one, they give you the molar mass to be 210.4 grams per mole. And hydrate two, they're letting you know the molar mass is 246.4 grams per mole. Well, both of these numbers are higher than the 120.4, which makes sense because the rest of the molar mass would have to be made of the water. And that's the key to the question. So I drew a couple little pictures to help you visualize what's really going on here. So what we've got is the anhydrous portion of the mag sulfate in hydrate one is 120.4. And I'm gonna call this variable uh, X. This is the first hydrate. This will tell us what kind of hydrate we have. Well, if you look at the picture here, the anhydrous portion is 120.4 and the entire uh, compound is 210.4. So that gives us about 90 grams per mole would represent the water. And we know that the molar mass of water is 18. So simply enough, 90 over 18 ends up being a real nice round number, which is five. What does that tell us? Well, it actually tells us that hydrate one must be magnesium sulfate dot five H2O. So it indeed is a pentahydrate. And that's all we had to do to solve this question. In the second case, this, the second hydrate clearly has more water in it than the first hydrate because it's 246 and this one was only 210. So if we adopt a similar strategy, draw the picture, I called the unknown uh, coefficient for water y this time. It really doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, but you can see very easily that the difference between 246.4 and 120.4 is uh, 126. So likewise, if we do our mental math, 126 over 18, which is the molar mass of water, it turns out that that is also a nice round number seven. So at the end of the day, the second hydrate that we're looking at here in this question ends up being MgSO4 dot 7H2O. And if you remember, this is the Epsom salts. Not that you have to know that for this question, but uh, Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. So here's a good little example, just sort of applying this whole idea of uh, empirical formula, molecular formula, uh, in terms of hydrates. Hopefully it helped.